to the channel for another video and another match day vlog. Today we are going to Bristol to take on Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers then currently sit in 17th place in Skybet League 2 where we sit 13th. So we have four places above them and we are only three points off the playoffs. Ten points off the title which is weird. Um, first game for the James Rowbury era. You know, that's why I'm so confident, you know, normally when the new manager comes in, the new manager bounces and stuff like that, you get a couple of wins on the trot, and I'm hoping that today that can continue. I'm nervous for the game because Bristol Rovers have, you know, abundance of quality players. They, the, the, the players they've got, sorry, are just immense for this level, you know, some of them. Um, and Aaron Collins as well, former Newport player, which is always something that annoys me when a former uh, player scores against us. So hopefully he doesn't bag today. Um, hopefully his brother does, but I, I don't see Lewis Collins playing. But anyway, I'm nervous, but I'm more excited because it's another away day. I love away games more than home games because you just get to go away and, and sing your heart out. And I think away fans are always better than home fans. Uh, that's just my personal opinion anyway. But I'm hopeful we can get a result here. I really am. I think if we turn up, we'll win. It's just whether we turn up. You know, we saw Exeter... And even for parts of the Carlisle game, we're passing the ball around around the back and wasn't really pushing forward. And I think we've got to do that today. So I think we're going to win. I'm going to go 2-1 Newport. Goal scorers for them. I am going to go Aaron Collins. I think it's written in the stats for him to score. So I'm going to go Aaron Collins for Bristol. For us, I'm going to go for Dom Telford and Courtney Baker-Richardson. Three goals from three strikers. Hope you enjoy the vlog. And come on my way to the ground now. The team has been released. It's Joe Day in goals. The back three. Clark, Dolan, Dimitro. Uh, Cameron Norman is the right wing back. Aaron Lewis, left wing back. Kane, Cooper and Wilmot in the midfield three. With Telford and Baker-Richardson up top. It's a strong team. You know, it's... I'd say it's one of our best teams. I don't think Upson played too well in midweek. So putting Kane in for Ed Upson was probably the right selection from the new manager, James Rowbury. So hopefully, you know, we get to the game. It's a good performance. But the team, I like it. Come on the port. I'll see you at kickoff. We're about 10 minutes away from the ground. Come on the port. Like I said, I'm going 2-1. But the team, I like it. It's a strong team. Come on. 1-0 Newport. Courtney Baker Richardson with a goal. You know, I can't see much, so I can't really describe it. But the ball gets played back and Courtney Baker Richardson scores the goal. It's 1-0. The first game of the James James Rowbury era continues with a perfect start. 28 minutes to go. Or 28 minutes played, sorry. Bristol Rovers nil, Newport 1. Courtney Baker Richardson again. This time inside the box. Newport fans go absolutely electric in the away end. Dom Telford, he scored two in midweek. He scored again tonight. And it's 1-1, one, 2-0, one, sorry. Newport KT in firm control of the game. Fans are absolutely laid. That's a good year. 2-0 to the court, 30th minute. Two goals between the two, two minutes between the two goals. And it's 2-0 to KT. Away fans mental. James Rabery's first first game as charge and Newport manager and it's going so well at the moment 2-0 so half now one the Newport Bristol Rovers score Brett Pitt but I think it was with a goal goal in the box ball falls ball falls to Brett Pittman and he screws it into the corner well smashes it into the top corner to be fair it's out of a goal he's probably one of the most experienced players at this level and he's got the goal to brought to bring Bristol back into it 2-1 on the stroke of half time it's like the worst time to concede a goal still 2-1 still in command got to just hold out till half time come back in the second half go and get a third goal because Bristol definitely looked like they could score one but Brett Pittman 2-1 and I'm at the Memorial Stadium, Bristol Rovers 1, Newport KT 2. Positive first half, but I think, you know, we demanded playing the first, you know, 40 minutes off the game. A 2-0 lead as well. Two goals in the space of two minutes. Yes, they scored the break of half time, but I think, you know, it was coming to be fair. You always see from Bristol Rovers, you know, with this, you know, the quality they've got up front in Brett Pittman. He's always going to cause a threat and he scored a very well taken goal to be fair to him. You know, he brings it down, he slots into that top corner. So, you know, when you look at the large scheme of the of the first half, I think, you know, a two a win for us is definitely the perfect result. I think you know, we play definite worthy of a 2 1 win, but they definitely do deserve to take something from that first half, and that goal sort of captured that in the very last minute of the first half. But got to come out strong in the second half. The Zaz came on for Dolan, maybe see Fisher or Abraham come on up front instead of, you know, Baker Richardson or Tell to add that little bit extra up front. 
but you know we're happy with the first half. Two one. Let's go back into the second half. Three one to the new four. It's a very good goal. Three one on the break. Corley Baker Richardson plays it into that man Dom Telford. He is on absolute fire at the moment. Dom Telford. Three one to the poor. Dom Telford scores. Again, a full time at the Memorial Stadium. Bristol Rovers won, New Put free. Uh, you know, phenomenal game. Not just that, you know, the atmosphere was absolutely insane. I thought we dom dominated them from start to finish. You know, they did have a few chances in the game to, you know, score more than what they did. I thought, you know, we defended really well. I thought we were the better team as well, to be fair, in large parts of the game. Uh, if you have enjoyed this match day vlog, please make sure to like and subscribe. Um, yeah, what a game. What a day up the fucking port and uh, yeah, Bristol Rovers, get back in your place.